Hello everyone, welcome to the security channel. In this video, we are going to talk about three problems from mass Olympiad training tests. Here, all these problems are from algebra. Let's start with the first problem. Let's talk about the first problem. For the first problem, we have a plus b equals to one. We have a squared plus b squared equals to two. And we are going to find a to the power of eight plus b to the power of eight. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem and we will see you in about 15 seconds. To solve this problem, let's start with the first two equations that we have. We have a plus b equals to 1 and a squared plus b squared equals to 2. Let's start with the identity that we know. We have a plus b to the power of 2 equals to a squared plus b squared plus 2 times ab. On the left hand side we have 1 to the power of 2. On the right hand side we have 2 plus 2 times ab. And you can see that ab is going to be negative 1 over 2. What we are going to do with this, we are going to see that in the next few seconds. To reach a to the power of 8 and b to the power of 8, we need to do multiple steps. Let's start with the first step. We have a squared plus b squared. Now we need to find a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4. To do this, we are not going to start from a and b, instead we are going to start from a squared and b squared. We know that a squared plus b squared equals to 2. So if you take power of 2 from both sides, we are going to have a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 plus 2 times a squared times b squared equals to 4. Now, a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 is going to be 4 minus 2 times a squared b squared. And we already know that a b is equal to negative 1 over 2. So replacing all these, we are going to have a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 equals to 7 over 2. Now let's move forward to find a to the power of 8 plus b to the power of 8. To do that, we are going to use exactly the same approach, but instead of using a squared and b squared, we are going to start with a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4. Taking power of 2 of both sides and then using the identity that we already know, a to the power of 8 plus b to the power of 8 is going to be 7 over 2 to the power of 2 minus 2 times a to the power of 4, b to the power of 4. Replacing the value that we have for a times b, we are going to end up with 97 over 8 for a to the power of 8 plus b to the power of 8. And that's our final answer. Now let's move to the second problem. Here we have radical x plus radical y equals to radical 180 and we want to solve this problem in integer. As usual, make sure that you pause the video for a bit to think about this problem and we will see you in about 15 seconds. To solve this problem, we are going to do a few tricks here. First of all, we are going to write 180 as 4 times 5 times 9. This is very simple. Now we have radical 4 times 5 times 9. And we know that 4 is 2 to the power of 2 and 9 is 3 to the power of 2. If we want to simplify it, we can write the whole thing as 6 times the square root of 5. Now we are using a very beautiful trick here. Since these values are integers, we are going to say 6 times SQRT root of 5 needs to be divided into two parts. Let's start with using nothing for x and everything for y. So x 
or it's better to say radical x is going to be zero and radical y is going to be the whole six times square root of five. Now let's give something to radical x. We are going to start with one radical five is going to be radical x and then five radical five is going to be radical y. Remember, everything that we are saying here is true because we know that x and y are integers. Now moving forward, we can say that radical x is going to be 2 radical 5 and radical y is going to be 4 radical 5. Moving forward, we can divide 6 radical 5 or it's better to say that we can split 6 radical 5 into two cases, 3 radical 5 and 3 radical 5. For other case, we have 4 radical 5 for x or for radical x and 2 radical 5 for radical y. We have two more cases to consider. Radical x can be 5 radical 5 and radical y can be 1 radical 5 and finally we can have radical x equals to the whole 6 radical 5 and radical y is equal, equals to 0. Now we are going to find values that we can have for x and y. To do this, let's start and focus on the first case. Radical x is 0, so x is going to be 0, and radical y is equals to 6 square to root of 5, so y is equal to 6 to the power of 2 times 5, which is 180. You can use the same approach to find other possible cases, and you can see that in total we have 7 different cases that we can accept. Now let's move to the third problem. Here we have 6 minus x to the power of x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals to 1. And we are going to find x. As usual, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem and we will see you in about 15 seconds. Here we are going to use a new trick. We know that there are possible cases when we have a to the power of b equals to 1. For this case a can be 1 and or b or the exponent can be 0. There is another case. So it's possible that we have a as a negative number. Then exponent needs to be an even number. In this case a is going to be negative 1 and b or exponent is going to be a, an even number. So let's focus on these three cases and see what we're going to get out of it. First case first. So we're going to say that base or 6 minus x can be 1. x is going to be 5. Exponent can be 0. So x squared plus 7x plus 12 can be 0 x is going to be negative 3 and negative 4. And finally, base can be negative 1. In that case, 6 minus x is going to be negative 1, so x is going to be 7. But we need to make sure that the exponent is going to be an even number. Let's do that. We are going to try to find that all these values that we found are valid or not. The first case, x is 5. Replacing everything that we have for x with 5, you can see that we will see 1 to the power of a number is 1, which is correct. For the second case, x is going to be negative 3, and you can see that the exponent is going to be 0, and the base is something valid, right? 9 to the power of 0 is 1. If we want to use negative 4, you are going to see something valid too. And finally, for x equals to 7, the base is going to be negative 1, and the exponent is going to be 7 to the power of 2 plus 7 times 7 plus 12. And you know that 7 to the power of 2 is 49, and you add them together, 2, 2 times 49 is going to be an even number, and then you add 12 is going to be an, another even number, and everything is correct. So that's our final answer and we have four cases here for this problem. I hope you enjoyed the content that we had in this video. 
if you want to see similar problems please let me know and also subscribe to the channel we already have a lot of problems from different math competitions in algebra and geometry in this channel make sure that you watch them and we will see you in the next video